In this segment we're going to look at how to conduct a mixed design ANOVA using SPSS. In a mixed design ANOVA we're going to have one between subject independent variable and one within subject dependent variable. It, this scenario uh, has the dependent variable of reaction time, between subjects independent variable of birth order, your firstborn or your not firstborn in your family and we have a within subject variable of uh, each person's provided reaction times for their dominant and non-dominant hands. So that's the design there. We're really asking two types of research questions. We're asking about the main effects. Do reaction times differ between the dominant and do non-dominant hands? That's the within subject main effect. And do reaction times differ between firstborn and subsequently born people? And then we have the interaction. Do, does the type of hand you're using, um, does the effect on reaction times vary according to whether you're firstborn or not? So let's now go to SPSS and have a look at this data set. We have reaction time dominant, reaction time non-dominant, and firstborn or not. I'm going to create a composite score made up of uh, overall reaction times which is dominant and non-dominant hands combined. So that's transform compute. I'll call this react all and it equals the mean of react and react non. Now the reason I'm doing this is so that I get um, uh, a variable that will allow me to get the marginal uh, descriptive statistics. So I'm going to go into analyze compare means means. I've already put in my two reaction times here from uh, previously but I'm also going to put in overall reaction time and I've put in my independent variable firstborn. In options I'm going to make sure that it, as well as the mean and standard deviation I'd like to get the skewness and ketosis, continue and OK. Now these results will give me all the means that I'll need for my cells as well as the marginal means for my table of descriptives. It would also be helpful if I graph this so I can visualize it and for a factor analysis with two independent variables it's worth getting a line chart which is easy so it's easier to see whether there's an interaction. So I want multiple lines and I want summaries for separate variables. My lines are going to represent the two reaction times and the category axis is my between subject variable, firstborn or not. So this graph shows that I'm likely to have an effect or I could have an effect whereby the lowest reaction times are for the blue line and that is with the dominant hand and the non-dominant hand is slower. Secondly, it appears that those who are firstborn may be a bit slower in their reaction times than those who are subsequently born. And then thirdly, do I have an interaction or not? Well, that's about whether the lines are parallel and it would appear that these lines are not parallel and they may well cross at some point. So therefore, I may have each of those three effects. It depends on whether the data would suggest it could have occurred by chance or not. So let's now set up the analysis. Analyze general linear model repeated measures. Uh, name the within subject factor. Let's call it hand and add. Define, put in our two reaction times. Put in our between subject variable. Uh, for plots, we can create two different types of plots but they will be very similar to the ones to the one that I just drew uh, manually. In options, pop all of these into the box. Descriptives, effect size, power and homogeneity tests. So we're set to go now.